women in our industry. The future of humankind is entirely dependent upon the contestants in Technovation Challenge. <laughs> but no pressure. Through Technovation, teams of high school girls work with professional women in the high-tech industry, and they design mobile phone apps over the course of nine weeks. At the end of the course, they get to present their prototypes and their business plans to a panel of high-profile judges at an exciting pitch night event. inspires girls to see themselves not just as users of technology, but as inventors, designers, builders, and entrepreneurs. I want every girl and every woman to have that confidence that, that they can lead and they can create something out of nothing. The challenge this year is to develop a science education app. One of the markers of a really good app is finding one problem and solving it really well. I want to try something. I want to have each of you go around real quick and say, I want to make an app that does and it's one sentence. I'm trying to think because I want an app that do so much. And I, I know. Gotta... So let's no, okay. Lean Startup, the whole idea is simply to find out if the idea is actually as good as you think it is. And when we do that, what we discover is that actually it's not, and that's okay. No idea is the best idea ever, like right at first. It takes time to change and iterate and adjust the idea until you kind of get it exactly right. Entrepreneurs speaking about the process of starting up a company and telling the students a little bit about how it's, there are failures involved and that's okay, and the idea is to be persistent and to keep working on your idea, come up with other ideas, and. Um, try to get other people on board and you know every now every now and then you come up with a really great one and you can run with it they are throwing ideas left and right and and the challenge is to get them to focus on something but it's a way better problem to have than to have the problem of not having any ideas to choose from. I want an app that will teach you how to use tools for dissection in order to teach you how to do a dissection. Like, okay. This is the main part of the Maps app. Okay. Or there's a main part of the Angry Birds app. Okay. Just brainstorm right now. What is the main part of this do you want to dissection it? app? Yeah. Their, their ideas have kind of been almost like too grandiose, like they want to do too many things. And with five different people, they kind of came around the same idea and then fragmented a bit on how they want to see it implemented. Hover over, Very you get what the initial tool does. Like I said, one time you click it and then it shows you what the body part looks like and you have to find that inside and you take it out and then put it on the paper. What a scissors is, what do you do? What gloves is, what do you do? And then at the end, you start using everything. That's what I'm So I want to rephrase it. You want an app that teaches, teaches you something and then you get to have a fun game with it. And then you, got, you get to like implement what you're taught. Oh, the starting screen. And then you get to this and you've done what you showed where you... So it's been interesting to see how the teams respond to the challenge of trying to do things as quickly as possible. And that, I think they've done really well with that, especially since all of this is really new to most of them. So they go to scissors and then scissors are for cutting open the body. Okay, then they grab the scissors and they go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. So I was excited to be able to see and teach a little bit about um, the ideation process, coming up with app ideas, all the way through the prototyping and user research, and then um, getting to a working app. And App Inventor is the software program that you are going to be using to write your app. And basically, it's a programming language, but it's a graphical programming language, so you can drag and drop your code. At first, I thought the technology <laughs> industry was complicated and I didn't want any part of it. I think everyone, before I talked about the program, had no idea that they could actually make apps for their own phone. That was a big surprise for most students, and even for myself before I started. So. I actually want to build stuff now and see how cool it's going to be when it turns out. There are three keys to a good presentation. Number one, you need to have a big opening. And number two, you have to have a strong close. And number three, and most importantly, you have to keep number one and number two as close together as possible. Yeah.
Start presentation. So we are, I'm Jaleesa. I'm, I'm, I'm Alexis. I'm Karina. I'm Jessica. And our app is called Frogita. Yes. With your help, we can save billions of frogs like Fernando with, wait, from, from dissection, here's our solution, Froggy Cat. As it's, it's like a game, so it's like playing, and also since teens are becoming more connected with technology, it's a way to like connect them more. And so it's great. I mean, eye, tact, eye contact is good. Usually one person will be given the pitch, but you guys had a good flow. You can work on that a little bit more and make sure it's always better to have it memorized rather than to be reading from notes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. But uh, all in all, yeah, you guys did a great job. Everything's coming together. Their pitch is really good for where they're at. Um, and hopefully in a few weeks, we'll win regionals. We'll see. So first we have a team from the June Jordan School for, from, for Equity, and it's the Froggy Cut team. This is our friend, Fernando the Frog. Uh, sadly, yesterday, or not yesterday, but earlier this year, he died from my dissection. You can help us save millions of frogs like Fernando by using our app, Froggy Cut. The problem we decided to tackle with our app was the fact that dissections are expensive, and as we know, multiple, like a lot of money, is being cut from um, budget in schools in California, so this app will save money. So our app, Froggy Cut, um, it's interactive, so like it's a game and it's and it's tell you about the tools and about the and about the um, frog. Being here at Pitch Night and seeing how far they've come from the beginning is amazing. Uh, seeing them touch code for the first time to create these products. It's really amazing to see like what they can do and how they can believe in themselves after they can see that they can create these amazing products. And last but obviously not least, um, our first place um, goes to Froggy Cut. So um, I think Ignacio and I thought this was really clever and um, so many things are moving towards the virtual world and we, th we really bought into the argument this would save a lot of cost to schools in terms of labs and infrastructure. Um, the app also worked really well and gave us a really good idea of the current scope of it, but we could also see where they could take it further. What I found most exciting here today was that uh, even at such a young age, uh, these girls were addressing real problems uh, and, and learning to become entrepreneurs by dealing with some of the hardest things, finding a market and things like that. They did a good job. I felt excited and happy and I was shocked. The winning it against nine other teams was like, whoa, we won. So it kind of gave us like a boost of confidence a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. It definitely prepared us for today. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Android Market designed to help students with chemistry. However, a majority of these apps are digital. Okay. If you see that, we're running out of time. Can you use the other Oh, sorry. Okay. 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 Okay.
there's no way, so it won't stink afterwards. <laughs> it won't get away afterwards. And one benefit about our app is that we have a restart button, so if you mess up, you can actually restart it instead of wasting another frog's life. <laughs> There are 22 million high school age students. Five million take biology with dissection. Usually two students are assigned one frog to dissect. That means 2.5 million frogs get dissected a year. Um, it costs $4 per frog, so that means $10 million are being, currently being spent on frog dissections. If our app is used at the price of $1.99, instead we save schools five million dollars and we gain five million dollars. <laughs> Are there any other applications beyond frogs that other type of dissections or other things you would do in a science class that you could develop an app for? Oh, so our future plans for this is actually, our future plans is to go global as in getting emerging markets and also we're going to have a level of difficulty so like for easy we'll have like a worm or a grasshopper and for medium we'll have like a frog and for hard we'll have like a cow or a human or something so either way you're still out doing that section to use the tools. You get really hard and have the frog moves. <laughs> By the end of Technovation they totally blossom they actually sound and look like entrepreneurs they know what they need to do and they're very impressive and the first place uh, congratulations to the study cafe <laughs> College. you have in your hands the ability to reinvent the world through whatever startups you invent yourself the um, biggest predictor of success is actually persistence. You just have to keep at it, and that's how you'll succeed. I'm so proud of them. I thought they did a great job up there, and you know, I mean, the, the competition was really fierce. Like, it was nice to see um, the level that it brought up in the nationals here. So I think they learned a lot, and I'm ready for next year. I hope to try this program again next year. My future plans, I want to be a computer engineer. Um, this app, I mean, this program, Technovation, has helped me with that, because I realized that I like software and building stuff. You guys keep on the path that you're on, there is a great job waiting for you guys. It's incredible how young you are. It's incredible all the technology and all the people and all the resources you have at your fingertips. Just think of it as a blue sky and try to reimagine your solutions. And all I can say is I'm so proud of you.